Hello, welcome to the 2020 Excellence in Leadership Virtual Celebration. My name is Jeff Ringer, Professor and Chair of Communication Studies, and I'll be the MC for this event. Typically, I would be welcoming you by looking out over a ballroom filled with your families, friends, and mentors, many of the people who have guided and supported you in your accomplishments. This year is different in many ways as we find ourselves physically separated from friends and loved ones, but these differences make it even more important that we find ways to celebrate together. The Excellence in Leadership Awards are a 32-year tradition at St. Cloud State, recognizing the contributions and accomplishments a long line of students have made in their campus and community. Our recipients come from across campus and represent a diverse array of academic interests, an extensive accumulation of community service, and an impressive commitment to campus engagement. While we cannot gather in person to celebrate your achievements, it is important that we recognize your collective contributions. Hence, a banquet becomes a virtual celebration. In the course of this video, we will hear from St. Cloud State University President Robin Wacker, 2010 Excellence in Leadership recipient Katie Jo Altoff, and the 25 recipients of the 2020 Excellence in Leadership Award. While we know that some of you may watch at 1.5 speed, we hope that you stick around for a special announcement at the end of the celebration. And now, we are pleased to present a special message from Dr. Robin Wacker, 24th President of St. Cloud State University. Hello, I'm Dr. Robin Wacker, President of St. Cloud State University. I'm excited to join in the Excellence in Leadership virtual celebration and to have the opportunity to recognize the achievements of these 25 outstanding student leaders. The Excellence in Leadership Awards have been presented at St. Cloud State since 1988. This year's recipients are part of a long legacy of leadership at St. Cloud State and their work on campus and in the community has moved our campus forward in meaningful ways and strengthened the relationship between the university and the larger St. Cloud community. Our winners this year come from all six colleges and schools across campus and represent career fields ranging from communication studies to medicine to business to education. We have transfer students, graduate students, student athletes, community leaders, university ambassadors, and leaders of cultural organizations. These students demonstrate what is possible when Huskies engage in their campus and community and work to serve others and leave the environment better than they found it. Our recipients this year hail from across Minnesota and around the world. In addition to the winners from three U.S. states, this group includes students from Nigeria, Pakistan, Nepal, Canada, and Mexico. St. Cloud State is an institution with a global impact and our students engage with each other and the St. Cloud community to share in the vibrancy and richness of cultures brought together by our academic mission. In the course of their application, these recipients all touched on the support systems that allowed them to thrive. Their journeys would not have been possible without the love and support of friends, families, and mentors. The families of our students play such an important role in our students' success, and I know many of those family members are watching this celebration. To those families, friends, and mentors, I say thank you. Thank you for all you have done to support our recipients in their success. This is especially important to acknowledge during these unprecedented times when many of us are physically separated from our friends and loved ones. We are in challenging times as a university, as a nation, and as a global community. However, I have been heartened seeing so many examples of people coming together to help each other and to support their communities, even though we cannot be together in person. St. Cloud State has exemplified this trend as students, faculty, staff, alumni, and donors have come together to ensure that we care for each other during this time of uncertainty. I'm proud of our community, and I know we will come out the other side of this stronger and more determined than ever. Congratulations once again to all our recipients. Thank you for all you've done for St. Cloud State. Know that the university will need you to stay engaged as alumni, to continue to give back with your time and talent, to help us keep building bridges and providing opportunities 
for the next generation to succeed. I am proud of all you've accomplished and on behalf of everyone at St. Cloud State, I look forward to seeing each of you excel on the next steps of your journey. Thank you for all you've done. And once again, congratulations. Thank you, President Wacker, for your remarks and your leadership during these uncertain times. Each year in the Excellence and Leadership Banquet, we invite a recipient from 10 years prior to present a keynote address. Katie Jo Altoff received the Excellence and Leadership Award in 2010, and both her bachelor's and master's degrees from St. Cloud State University. During her time on campus, she was involved in the University Program Board, the You Choose Program, and many other campus activities. Since graduating, Katie Jo has worked in business logistics for international companies, including FedEx and Jostens. She was kind enough to record her remarks in video format to share with us as part of this virtual celebration. Hello, Excellence in Leadership Award recipients. First off, I wanna start by saying congratulations on receiving this prestigious award. Not only does this award symbolize a huge accomplishment in your collegiate career, but it is also tangible proof of all of the hard work you've put into your academics and your extracurricular activities over the past few years. As you can see, I am currently in my bedroom right now, which is the last place I ever envisioned giving this speech and reading off of my phone, so I apologize. We are in unprecedented times right now and trudging down roads we have never been down before. It is unfortunate that this year's banquet had to be canceled for all of our safety, as you all deserve to be recognized in a room full of your fellow honorees, your mentors, and your friends and family. I'll be completely candid with you. This sucks. I know it does. I can't even imagine the disappointment you must have felt when you learned that you wouldn't be able to walk across a stage and receive this award in front of those that mean the most to you, your biggest supporters, those that have been with you from the beginning and have helped you get to where you are today. Even though the disappointment is real, I hope you do not feel diminishment in the meaning behind this year's award. The act of giving this award may have changed this year, but the value behind it remains the same. You will be recognized among a small group of SCSU student leaders who have accomplished something that the rest of the student body did not in 2020. Be proud about that. Honor that. I guess this is a good time for me to introduce myself. My name is Katie Jo Altoff, and I was an award recipient in 2010. When David called and asked me if I would be interested in serving as this year's keynote speaker, of course I said yes. What an honor. David went on to tell me that this event's keynote speaker is typically someone who had won the award 10 years prior. Excitement was my first initial reaction, and then I thought to myself, wow, has it really been 10 years already? And it has. You hear it all the time, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Time flies by, folks. One minute, you're sitting in class next to your best friend, and the next thing you know, you're getting a call and asked to serve as a keynote speaker at a banquet for an award that you had received a decade ago. If you're not being mindful of it now, I encourage you to try. Take each moment in your life that you want to cherish and really soak it all in. Take pictures, of course, but then put your phone down. Be present. Recognize your surroundings, the venue you're in, the people you're with, the emotions you're feeling, the thoughts you're having. Live in it. Remember it. Because in a flash, it'll be over just like that. Through the course of my career at St. Cloud State University, I was heavily involved as a student leader on campus. The University Program Board was basically my life, and I loved every moment of it. I started out as the Films Coordinator, followed by serving as UPB President for two years, then as a Program Advisor, and ended as the Interim Assistant Director for UPB once it was newly added to the DCI umbrella in my last semester of grad school. Outside of UPB, I served as an Atwood Service Manager for Copies Plus and the Info Desk during my undergrad, and as a Graduate Assistant for UChoose. I tell you this to provide some background on my experiences as a student leader at SCSU and how those experiences impacted my journey after graduation. As St. Cloud State University students, you are very fortunate to be surrounded by such a supportive group of faculty members and department staff who want nothing but to see you succeed. If you know what you want to excel in and demonstrate you are willing to work hard, you don't have to look very far to find someone to help you reach your goals. 
That is what's so great about being part of the SCSU community. Whether it's a fellow student leader, professor, an advisor, a staff member, you don't have to look very far to find somebody who's willing to help you navigate through this thing called life. Long after you graduate from SCSU, you'll be faced with options, decisions you have to make, and you'll refer back to a conversation or an experience you may have had as a student leader, and that, believe it or not, will help shed some light on your journey. I have given this speech a lot of thought over the past few weeks. There are so many things I could talk about and share with you, such as my experiences as a student leader, what I regret as a college student, my career path after I graduated, the list goes on and on. Given our current circumstances and the realness of what life is like for us right now, I want to give you all something more relatable, something I'm hoping you can connect with and refer back to long after you graduate. I'm going to share with you my top three tips for making it through your first decade after graduation and beyond. Tip number one, be prepared. This tip is really geared toward our current situation. Many of you will be graduating soon and the next step is of course to find a job. Due to impacts of this coronavirus pandemic, over 10 million Americans have already filed for unemployment. Companies are making tough decisions of laying off employees and putting a freeze on hiring. Unless you are seeking a career in an industry deemed as essential, you may find a very difficult time landing an interview simply because companies are not hiring right now. If you are among the few who have a job lined up or able to get an interview, congratulations. Do not take that for granted. If you are not, however, don't fret. You are not alone in this battle and there will be an ending to the war on this outbreak. The economy will start up again and when it does, you need to be ready. It will take time for companies to get back on their feet and be financially stable enough to start hiring employees back. If you don't already know, take the time now to figure out exactly what career path you want to follow. What specific job do you want to have? What company do you want to work for? Once the economy does open back up, you will be competing with millions of Americans for jobs. You will want to be polished and ready to go the minute that happens. Your resume should be complete, your interview suit should be clean, pressed, and waiting, and you should feel prepared to walk into any interview room. Practice answering interview questions. Research the companies you want to work for and have multiple versions of your resume ready to go. These are all things you can do to ensure you stand out from the crowd. Be prepared. Tip number two, don't settle. If you are able to hunker down for the next few weeks or even months, do just that. Of course, some of you may not have the luxury and may need to take any hourly position you can find in order to make ends meet, and that's okay too. The important thing is to have a plan in mind and stick with it. You may be in a temporary position for a few months or maybe even longer, but that does not mean you shouldn't also be constantly thinking about what your next move will be. The dream job you want is out there and you are more than capable of obtaining it, even if it means you just have to wait a little bit longer to get it. Shortly after graduation, you will also begin experiencing a time when more of the friends around you are getting engaged, married, and having children. It's normal to want all of those things too and believe it's something that you have to accomplish by a certain date. Let me tell you, the date means nothing. Over the years, your friends are going to change. After a decade, you will understand it is not about the quantity of the friends that you have, but the quality of them. You won't have time to stay in touch with everyone, but you will naturally choose the ones you want to hang on to. My closest friends are those I met in my freshman year living on the 10th floor of Sherburn Hall. It was a larger group of us back then, but only a handful of us remain connected still today. Through the years of finding yourself, your career, and your friends, most of you will also want to find that special someone to spend the rest of your life with. If you have already found them, good for you, because honestly, dating after college kinda sucks. In all seriousness though, don't rush this process. If you're currently in a relationship and questioning the stability of it, really give that some serious thought. Being in a long-term relationship does not mean your future is sealed. Yes, the thought of being alone can be scary, but those are the moments when we can truly find ourselves. Know what you want in your life and accept nothing less. Don't settle. Tip number three and my last and final tip for you today, save your money. Once you do land that dream job and start making more money than you've ever made before, it's only natural to want to purchase that car you've always wanted or live in that expensive apartment or pay for that trip or vacation on credit cards. These are all things that I personally did after I graduated from college. Thank goodness I met my husband, who was and still is very fiscally responsible. Over the years, he has shown and taught me the importance 
importance of paying down debt and saving for our future by living a modest life well below our means. We currently live in a townhome with our almost three-year-old son, Sawyer, and our three-year-old blue healer, Arya, who, yes, was named after one of our favorite characters on Game of Thrones. Together, we decided it was more important to pay off our undergraduate and graduate school debt than to throw that elaborate, expensive wedding or purchase our dream home too early or go on annual vacation trips. We're both in our 30s and have finally managed to pay off our student debt this year. We're also financially prepared for the possibility of one of us losing our jobs during this pandemic. You can't predict the future and it's hard to make responsible decisions when you want that immediate gratification, but listen to me when I say, put your money away. Prolong that need to purchase your dream car or dream home. Make decisions for your future self, for your future family. Save your money. I want to thank you all for taking the time to hear what I have to say today. I wish I could say that I had all of the answers, but I'm asking my own questions every day. I do have one bonus tip for you. Never stop seeking self-improvement. Find something about yourself that you want to improve and learn everything you can about that area. Read books, listen to podcasts, watch documentaries. Try to learn and understand those who may have opposing viewpoints as you. We live in a world where everyone is so different and free to have their own opinions. In your life, you will encounter people who will disagree with the core belief you may have. This does not make them bad people. Try and learn from them. Understand where they are coming from. Always seek new information and never stop trying to improve yourself. To end this, I want to share a quote by novelist Paulo Coelho. Quote, always ask yourself if what you are doing today is getting you closer to where you want to be tomorrow. End quote. If you take anything away from my speech today, it's to ask yourself these three questions. Are you prepared? Are you settling? Are you saving? We will all walk down different paths that lead us through our own journeys. Sometimes our paths may cross and other times they may be separated forever. Some of us have bumpier roads or larger obstacles to overcome. Regardless, these paths are ours to own and ours alone. We may seek help along the way or share the road with others for a time, but ultimately we get to decide which direction we want to go, even if we can't see beyond the horizon just yet. Thank you. Thank you, Katie Jo, for sharing your wisdom and experience with our 2020 award winners. Now, we are pleased to present the 2020 winners of the St. Cloud State University Excellence in Leadership Awards. Nima Adesalu has served on the board of several student organizations, such as the Nigerian Student Organization, the Muslim Student Association, and the National Society of Collegiate Scholars. She volunteers as an in-house counselor with the Mentally Aware Nigeria Initiative, a youth-led nonprofit that is focused on ending mental health stigma and creating safe spaces for conversations about mental health issues in Nigeria. She also works as a community advisor with the Department of Residential Life and as a teaching assistant for the biology department. Hi everyone, my name is Nima Talai Adesalu. Most people call me Nima here on campus. I want to say a huge thank you to the Department of Campus Involvement for honoring me with this award. I also want to give a huge shout out to the Department of Residential Life for playing a crucial role in my development as a student, a leader, and as a global citizen. I also want to give the largest thank you to my mom and my dad and my brother for all their support all these four years of university. And uh, Thank you, I love you so much, and go Huskies! <laughs> Kamal Latasi is an active member of the ROTC program that prepares students to become Army officers and lead our country's soldiers. He volunteers at the local nonprofit Lutheran Refugee Services, assisting newly arrived immigrants to settle in the community. He is also a member of the Minnesota Army National Guard, serving as a logistics officer, and has organized training for cadets from three different campuses, as well as blood drives on our campus. When he is not volunteering, he works in the athletics office. Hello, my name is Kamal Atasi. I'm a senior at St. Cloud State University, studying finance and national business and a minor in military history. I'm very honored to be receiving the Excellence in Leadership Award. And I would like to thank my family and friends overseas, also my family and friends here in the U.S. And I'd like to thank the community of St. Cloud who have helped me along the way also the professors who have mentored me throughout my college career. Special thanks to Dr. Ward for his nomination. Thank you, everyone. 
Chantal de Marais is a biomedical sciences major, minoring in gender and women's studies. She has been involved in the Council of African American Students, Dynasty Dance Club, the All Tribes Council, the Pre-Med Club, and the SCSU Dance Team. She has been a teaching assistant for human anatomy and human relations classes, and has also worked for the North Star STEM Alliance as a study group leader. She also enjoys competing as a member of the women's track and field team. Hi, my name is Chantelle de Marais, and I am a senior at St. Cloud State University studying biomedical sciences. I'd like to start by saying thank you for recognizing me as a recipient of the Excellence in Leadership Award. While I am truly grateful for this honor, I would not have been able to act as a student leader without the support from so many others. I'd like to thank my friends who supported me in my academics, student organizations, and athletics. Thank you to members of the Dynasty Dance Club, the Council of African American Students, the Pre-Med Club, the Dance Team, and the Women's Track and Field Team. I would also like to extend my thanks to the faculty, staff, and athletic coaches who have pushed me and supported me to be successful in both the classroom and on the field. Last but not least, I'd like to thank my family and my parents for always challenging me to be the best version of myself. As I prepare to graduate in the spring, I am saddened that my time here at the university will be coming to an end, but I'm also very excited to see what the future holds. I hope that I can continue to be a leader both in the workplace and in the community. Thank you. Fabiola Diaz is completing a master's degree in the Higher Education Administration program. She works as a Latino admissions advisor at Anoka Ramsey Community College, where she brings support to all students in their college success by providing the information and resources they need as they start their admissions process. Her goal is to create a bridge to opportunity for students in their college journey. Hello, my name is Fabiola Diaz. I'm really thankful to be considered for the Leadership Award. I'm also thankful for all my support system, my family, my colleagues at Anoka Ramsey Community College, and lastly, faculty and classmates from my Higher Education Administration program here in St. Cloud. Thank you to all of you for helping me be a better leader and serve the community. Thank you so much. Jerry Duckworth III will be the first in his family to receive a postgraduate degree when he graduates this spring with a Master's of Public Administration. Jerry earned his bachelor's from St. Cloud State University in Community and Public Health in 2018. During his time at St. Cloud State, Jerry lettered in varsity football for four years and participated on the team's leadership council during his final two years. Jerry is active in eight organizations throughout the St. Cloud community, including those focused on homelessness prevention, access to food, and assisting the aging. During his time at SCSU, Benjamin Erickson has acted to further his leadership skills and serve his community. He is the president of the Psychology Club, educating others on the wonders of psychology, Ben is also a teaching assistant with Dr. Philip Godding and enjoys helping students with issues and concepts in class. He is a research assistant with Dr. Jamie Opper with her work on color vision. Benjamin has been working at the Center Care Hospital and Behavior Health Unit as a behavioral health technician since November 2019. First and foremost, I would just like to thank the Selection Board of the University for not only giving me the opportunity to apply for this award, but then also selecting me to win it. Uh, it feels great just to be recognized for some of the work that I've put in here while I've been at SCSU. I also have to give a huge shout out to my friends and my family. Uh, you know, my parents, my siblings, my grandparents, uh, my significant other, all of whom have been very, very supportive in all the decisions I made and really pushed me to be the best that I can be in everything that I do in every way every day. Uh, even when I may not have a, the greatest confidence in myself, uh, they've always known what I've been capable of. <clears throat> um, and also a big thing is just how the university operates in itself. I gotta say thank you to that because without that, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to do the things that I've done um, and fulfill some of the roles that I've been able to get into within St. Cloud State and within uh, the St. Cloud community in general. So it's just been a great experience really getting to step into these roles and do bigger things and do bigger things with my life and uh, be able to make an impact with some other people's life. Um, it's a life-changing experience and I can't be grateful enough for the opportunities I've been given. So thank you again. 
Carly Frederick will be entering her last semester this fall and graduating this December. Carly is an active member of the Greek community and her chapter of Kappa Phi Omega. Within her chapter, she has held 10 leadership positions. Along with Greek life, she also serves on the university program board, holding a program coordinator position. These experiences have led her to become the confident young woman she is, who is always seeking new opportunities for her future. Hi, I just wanted to take a quick minute and say thank you for the opportunity to receive the Excellence in Leadership Award. Um, I wanted to recognize my mom for always encouraging me to push myself beyond my limits and take any opportunity that presents itself to me. Um, I want to thank Greek Life. Uh, my chapter, Kappa Phi Omega, has made me the amazing woman that I am today. I want to thank um, the University Program Board for um, giving me the opportunity to grow in my leadership skills and learn event planning as well as taking on tasks that I never thought I would have um, and for meeting some really amazing people. And I just want to thank SCSU for giving me the best college experience I could have asked for. Lauren Glassbrenner will graduate this spring with a BA in Communication Studies, as well as minors in German, Political Science, and Intercultural Communication. She swam on the swim and dive team for the past four years, finishing out her last year as captain. She sits on the executive board of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee and is president of University Ambassadors. Lauren will continue her education at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, seeking a PhD in rhetoric with a goal of researching and teaching in the area of communication. So I am a university ambassador, and part of the responsibilities of an ambassador is to give campus tours. And the one question that I get all the time is, why St. Cloud State? And that answer has always been, it's because of the people. From the first moment I stepped on campus move-in day, my coach welcomed me into this new swim and dive family. Um, my professors, the faculty all over this campus, but especially in my major in communication studies, just so helpful and knowledgeable and kind. The people in the admissions office that I've had the pleasure of working with, I just make it so fun. Um, and, of course, all of the people that I've met here that have um, become lifelong friends. And I can truly, truly say that St. Cloud State, we're a family, um, we're a community, uh, and, I, and I owe it all to them, um, all my successes, everything, all my growth. Uh, I definitely owe it all to them and I thank them so much for uh, the experiences that I've had here. Alec Hafferman is studying biomedical sciences. He played on the SCSU football team and is a member of the Husky Football Leadership Council. He has given back to the university in a number of ways, including as a member of the Dean's Student Advisory Board for the College of Science and Engineering, University Ambassadors, Student Athlete Advisory Committee, and the Richard Greenhouse Executive Board. He gives back to the community by volunteering at La Tabla, the annual multiple sclerosis event, and the St. Cloud Hospital. Hi, my name is Alec Haferman, and um, I'd just like to thank St. Cloud State uh, for this amazing honor um, with this Excellence in Leadership Award. Um, first, it would be wrong of me to not thank my family, uh, my mom and dad who have raised me um, and showed me what it is to really try to be the best person you can be. Um, and my younger brother, Caleb, um, I'd just like to thank those, uh, my family. Um, I wouldn't be here today without them uh, for pushing me to be the best I can every single day. And I'd like to thank the football coaches here, um, Coach Underwood, Coach Sipple, um, all of them, Coach Grimmett, um, for really me showing me St. Cloud State and just showing me the amazing place that it is. And without them, I don't know if I'd be here today. Um, and I'd also like to thank all the faculty that I've come across here in the biomedical degree and um, outside of that degree. Um, every person I've met here um, is why this place is so special. And I can't thank them all enough um, and set me up to succeed for the rest of my life. And um, one of my favorite memories here um, is actually receiving this award. So thank you very much. And uh, I hope you guys are all staying uh, safe and healthy. Have a good day, bye-bye.
Hamza Junaid is a double major in information systems and business economics. Hamza started his leadership journey in his freshman year as the marketing coordinator of the Pakistan Student Association and served as the site manager for Hands Across the World. During his junior year, his passion for economics led him to become the president of the Economics Association. His term in that position led to a rejuvenation of the organization. Hamza is also vice president of alumni relations for the business fraternity Delta Sigma Pi. Hello, this is Hamza. I'm a senior here at St. Cloud State University. And first of all, I'd like to start by congratulating all the fellow winners of this award. They are such an amazing bunch of students who have done an amazing job um, helping students and helping their communities on campus as well as off campus. So uh, thank you so much for the committee for making this decision to include me alongside with such amazing students. It's definitely an honor and I will forever be thankful. Um, I'd like to start by thanking uh, all the friends and families and the professors who've helped me along the way, um, especially everybody from the faculty in the economics department, uh, just because they've uh, personally been in touch with me and personally helped me groom so much within the field as well as you know following up to the presidency at econ association i would also like to definitely thank my parents uh, because they have been a source of inspiration for me uh, for you know who i am today and they've basically been a big part of the person who i am today and what all i've achieved so thank you so much to them um, and finally just would like to end by um, thanking all of you again I hope you all are staying safe in your houses, uh, definitely unprecedented times. So stay safe. Uh, thank you so much again, and hope you all enjoy the quarantine. Nishant Kafli is an information systems major. He is currently serving the Nepalese Student Association as an advisor and the Department of Campus Involvement as a program assistant intern. In previous years, he served as president of the Nepalese Student Association, publicity coordinator for the Accounting Club, international peer advisor for the Center for International Studies, and marketing coordinator of the South Asia Committee. Much of his work for these groups involved organizing events, including the biggest cultural night, Nepal Night, with more than 800 attendees. Hello and namaste everybody. This is Nissan from Nepal, uh, one of the award winners. At first, I would like to thank the Department of Campus Involvement and St. Coast State University for honoring me with this prestigious award. It has been my privilege. I want to extend my gratitude to all my wonderful people without who uh, I've not been able to achieve this. I also want to thank all my amazing nominators and professors for always trusting and considering me for this award. And last but not the least, I want to thank and dedicate this award to my colleagues and friends from Nepalese Student Association and Nepalese community. Thank you for the support and motivation. Let's find a suitable day to celebrate this award together. Thank you so much. McKenna Klapaki is majoring in communication studies with an emphasis in persuasion and advocacy. She is currently a programming outreach assistant at the Women's Center, a campus representative for NARAL, Pro-Choice Minnesota, and the president of Students for Choice. She is a presenter for the Bystander Intervention Program and helps plan the Women on Wednesday series. She has also studied abroad in England and been involved in Performance Studies Club, College Democrats, and local community groups. Hi, my name is McKenna Kalapaki, and I am one of this year's Excellence in Leadership Award recipients. And I am so grateful to have been nominated for this award. And I would like to thank my family and friends for loving and supporting me all these years. I would not be where I am without you. I would also like to uh, extend a thank you to Jane Olson, Mary Shearer, and Leela Du, and all of my past and present uh, Women's Center co-workers um, for creating a space where I could express my passion for feminist issues. Um, I would also like to thank all of my communication studies professors, um, specifically Dr. Tammy Spry, Dr. Jen Tudor, and Dr. Scott Wells, as they have created engaging learning opportunities where I have gained the skills to be successful in the future. Lastly, I would like to thank my friends and mentors, Grace Espinoza and Carly Staples, who are truly the embodiment of leadership and feminist activism. They are going to change the world someday and they continue to inspire me every day. Thank you again to those who nominated me and the judges for uh, this award. I am so grateful and honored to be part of the Excellence in Leadership Award legacy. Um, and I can't wait to 
get back to doing what I love after all this craziness is over. Thank you. Haley Lenway is currently the president of Delta Sigma Pi and the Society for Human Resource Management and is an active member of the Business Student Executive Council. She is a member of the University and Business Honors Programs, a group exercise instructor, and a student worker in the Business Advising Center. Her involvement has allowed her to grow as a person and as a professional, as well as allowing her to give back to the community. Outside of school, Haley works for the Mayo Clinic in their Human Resources Department. Hi everyone, I would just like to, to take a second here to thank everyone who has loved and supported me throughout my journey here at SCSU, my friends, my faculty, my family, and just everyone that has been there. Coming into college, I never would have thought I would be where I am today, president of two student organizations and just super involved on campus. It's something I wouldn't change for the world. It's weird kind of communicating over a, a phone, but it's what our world has come to. I can't wait to bring the life lessons that I have learned through student organizations into the workforce and inspire change and growth in society and within human resources. And just thank you to everyone receiving this award. It's such an honor. And like I said, it's nothing that I would have ever imagined myself receiving. But SCSU has provided me with the growth and the leadership potential to help me succeed in the workforce. And I'm so excited to do so. Eleanor Nelson is majoring in biomedical sciences with a minor in chemistry. She has been a captain of the cheerleading team for the last four years and has significantly contributed to the development of its competitive program. She is an active member of the Medical Professions Association and the University Honors Program. She volunteers at the American Red Cross, helping acquire life-saving blood. She served her fellow students as a lab assistant for organic chemistry classes, teaching assistant for anatomy and physiology classes, and as a tutor in biology. It is an honor to receive the Excellence in Leadership Award. I would like to thank my coach, Kristen Myers, for nominating me and for trusting me to lead the SCSU cheer team. I would also like to thank my professors in the College of Science and Engineering, particularly Dr. Mark Mekelke and Dr. Marina Chekovich, for their guidance and the opportunities they have afforded me. Finally, I would like to thank my family, friends, and teammates for their endless support. Kayla Nesman is involved across campus. She is an intern, programming and outreach assistant at the Women's Center, a teaching assistant for Dr. Tamrat Tadim's human relations class, a writing coach at the right place, and president for Generation Equality. Her involvement on campus and in the community is focused on social justice and bringing awareness to environmental and feminist issues. So I have spent the last two years at St. Cloud State as I transferred here during my junior year. And without a doubt, it has been the most transformative years of my life. And when I first got here for my campus tour, I knew that there was a reason that I was supposed to be here. And so when I first started working at the Women's Center during my second semester at St. Cloud State, I knew that that was the reason I was meant to be here. I'm extremely passionate about social justice issues and the Women's Center has allowed me to explore that passion and develop into a leader. And so I'm really grateful to say that the Women's Center has been one of the most transformative experiences of my entire life and it has been my home during my time at St. Cloud. So with that, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that I have worked with there. You have all truly developed me into a better person and a stronger leader. Thank you. Anna Panek is double majoring in math education and Spanish education with a minor in special education. She works as a learning assistant and tutor for the math department and as a writer for the University Chronicle. She is involved in multiple student organizations on campus, including as co-president of the National Society of Leadership and Success, vice president of the Future Educators Club, and an editor for the University Chronicle. She was fortunate enough to study abroad last summer and visit Germany, France, Austria, Switzerland, and Iceland. Hello everybody, my name is Anna Ponick, and I am very honored to be one of the 2020 recipients of the Excellence in Leadership Award. The first person I want to thank is my dad, who always asks me what's next after any accomplishment. 
even after this one, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next, but I'm really happy that he encouraged me to keep going. In high school, I was a big fish in a little pond. I was a leader of multiple activities and a representative on the school board. I was a little nervous going to St. Cloud State, where I became a small fish in a very big pond. I'm very thankful for the professors who encouraged me to go after my interests and led to leadership positions that have gone to many opportunities I never even dreamed of back in high school. I want to specifically thank Dr. Hansik Brill and Dr. Colin who have given me the support I needed. I would also like to thank all of my friends, the ones that have stuck with me since high school and all my new ones here on campus. I'm very thankful for the support and all of the laughs we have shared along the way. Because I do not have time to thank everyone I want to or name all the people who have shaped me into the person I am today, I'm going to end with a quote by a famous child psychologist. Every child deserves at least one adult who is irrationally crazy about him or her. That is a quote by Yuri Brofenberner, and I want to thank all the people who were irrationally crazy about me. Thank you. Taylor Richards is a Master of Social Work student excited to graduate in May. She is an international student from Canada and works as a graduate assistant for the Teacher Development Office in the Faculty of Education and is a graduate intern at the Women's Center Gender Violence Prevention Program, working as a sexual assault advocate. Taylor was also involved with the Bridge to Community Resources Program, working to address food and housing insecurity among SCSU students. Thank you for the recognition and the Excellence in Leadership Award. I wanted to thank my family and friends for their continued support throughout my Master's of Social Work, as well as the Faculty of Education where I have my GA, um, Kristen Carlson, for continuing to help me and be flexible throughout grad school. The Women's Center, Lee Ledoux for um, being a wonderful supervisor and helping me um, learn different traits and skills as a Master's Social Worker as well as the Faculty of Social Work for continuing to support us throughout our degree. Um, I'm not sure I would have quite made it through without all of you, um, so thanks, I appreciate it. Brenda Daniela Robles Espinoza is a student at the Plymouth campus pursuing her MS in Applied Clinical Research. She is excited to be a new member of the Emerging Network of Clinical, Quality, and Regulatory Professionals and the Society of Clinical Research Associates. Currently, Brenda is balancing her studies with curricular practical training at a local medical device company in the Twin Cities, while also spending her free time volunteering, helping international students to study in the USA and enjoying a Minnesota lifestyle. Hello everyone, this is Brenda Robles. I am honored to receive the 2020 Excellence in Leadership Award from St. Cloud State University. The inspiration that I receive and examples that I'm able to follow are a large part who are achieving my goals, and I am very grateful for that. It is amazing to see the community around me advance as a team, from when I started, started grad school until now. We are becoming a strong leadership examples for the community. I want to give the biggest thanks to my family, to my friends, St. Cloud State University, and specifically to Susan Peterson and Kathy Greer. Thank you for allowing me to challenge myself and supporting me in my career. You were important parts in becoming the leader that I am today. Thank you again and I appreciate this honor very much. Andrew Spaulding is a strategic communications major with a minor in marketing. During his time at SCSU, he has been heavily involved with Acacia Fraternity, including serving as chapter president running meetings, managing personalities, and navigating the fraternity's relationship with the university were all key learning opportunities for him, and he looks forward to using those skills when he graduates this spring. Hello, my name is Andrew Spaulding. I just wanted to quickly make this video for the Excellence in Leadership Award. It's a huge honor to be uh, recognized by the university for my work over the past four years. Coming here in 2016, I never would have imagined something like this would be possible. And if it wasn't for, you know, my family back home, my friends, my girlfriend, my fraternity, especially the faculty and staff over the last four years, something like this would have never been possible. Uh, my time here at St. Cloud State for four years is something that will never be forgotten and I will cherish forever. Go Huskies! Cassidy Steen is an active member of the women's basketball team, the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, and University Ambassadors, and the Pre-Dental Club President. She loves giving back to the community through basketball camps and clinics, visiting a local nursing home, and promoting the university using her own personal experiences. She has worked as a chemistry department lab assistant, teaching assistant, and tutor. 
She is dedicated to tutoring student athletes at the Richard Greenhouse and giving campus tours to prospective students through the admissions office. I would like to begin by thanking the award selection committee for choosing myself as a recipient of this award. It's truly a great honor and I feel sincerely privileged to be recognized for my efforts at St. Cloud State. I also want to acknowledge those who have consistently supported me along the way. First, my parents and family who have encouraged me to branch out and reach my potential. My coaches, Lori Fish and Jessica Hartman, are always recognizing my efforts both on and off the court. And all my professors, staff, and employers I have come into contact with in my four years here for completing the college experience for me. The support I've received during my time has been unrivaled. Thank you again. Srijana Thapa is pursuing her master's degree in gerontology and working as a graduate assistant in the gerontology program. She has served as president of the Gerontology Club and is also an intern at the Good Shepherd Community Center where she advocates for the residents. Her dream is to make sure that no one would ever feel intimidated because of their old age and instead age gracefully and happily. Hi, I'm Shana Tapa from Mount Nepal and I'm one of the recipients of 2020 St. Cloud State University Excellence and Leadership Award. I am pursuing my master's degree in gerontology program at St. Cloud State University and I am a graduate assistant in the program. Currently, I'm also an intern at Good Shepherd Community. But talking about my leadership experience, my campus involvement as a graduate assistant and as the president of Gerontology Club has enhanced my self-learning attitude and understanding of what it takes to achieve successful teamwork. And yes, I'd like to express my gratitude towards St. Cloud State University for choosing me as a recipient of this award. I'd also like to thank my professors, Dr. Phyllis Greenberg and Dr. Rona Kersik, and my Good Shepherd team, Jody, Jeanette, Jean, and Robin. I'd also like to thank my family, since my home is my first school, and of course, my friends for their love and support. And special thanks to Grandma Lewis Hutchinson. Grandma Lewis, it's all because of your unstinting support and guidance that I am able to receive this award today. Um, thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I feel privileged to be sharing this wonderful experience with you. Benny Toms Warchecka is an active member of a wide array of campus groups. Most people know Benny from his involvement with the University Program Board, for which he served as president. He also volunteers with Our Mississippi, Our Future, a group focused on conservation efforts in the Mississippi headwaters. He proudly represents Ta Kappa Epsilon as the new member educator, as well as organizing opportunities for students in the Atmospheric and Hydraulic Sciences Department as activity coordinator for the Hydro Geo Club. Hi all, so there are just a few people that I really want to take a quick moment to thank for how much they've supported me in all of my endeavors. So I'd like to start with my family. So my mom, Jan, um, my dad, Randy, my brother, Alex, my sisters, Emma and Claudia. Um, a lot of my hometown friends have also supported me a lot. And then a lot of people here at SESU also have. So I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone at DCI, um, Tommy, Kayla, Jenny, David, um, all of my UPB friends, especially Carly, who also got an award. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who I've worked with in my department, especially Dr. Kate Pound for everything she's done for me. And I have to say that we are really able, doing, are able to do a lot right now with all of the things that we have, even in the current world situation. And I want to hope that everyone here will continue doing everything they can to be an exceptional leader. Thanks. Critis Upredi, a mechanical engineering major in his final year of undergraduate studies, has been involved in various leadership roles. Over time, he has served as the SCSU Student Government Cultural Diversity Chair, Technology Fee Committee Chair, the Student Government President, and on the board of Students United. He has been active in higher education advocacy at the campus, local, state, and federal levels. 
Kritish believes in the power of students to make a difference in their own lives and the lives of their communities. Kritish is a shining example of the servant leader qualities in a leader. He lives by the motto, people for others, and hopes one day to return to his home country, Nepal, to put his education and leadership skills into practice to enhance and uplift his country and those that for so long have supported his dream of studying in the United States. Hi, my name is Kriti Supriti. I'm one of the recipients of the Excellence in Leadership Award for the academic year 2019-2020, um, given out by St. Cloud State University Department of Campus Involvement. I'd like to thank the opportunity that I've had here to serve as the student body president to all the students that have felt the confidence in me and chosen me as their representatives. I think it has helped me polish my leadership skills, advocate on behalf of the students, and be the best voice for our student body. I'd like to thank my parents for always believing in me, my friends and family who have supported and guided me, and more importantly, I'd like to thank the different staff members and administration members who have given advice and helped me groom myself as a leader, and thanks to all the faculties who have given me the resources to succeed in this institution. Thank you for all of your help in becoming who I am today. Jessica Vanderwerf is the treasurer of the non-traditional student organization. She volunteers with Letters from the Heart, writing letters and postcards to the isolated and elderly. She's a proud member of the National Honor Society's Psi Chi and Sigma Phi Omega. She also works as an orientation leader and peer mentor. Hello, my name is Jessica Vanderwerf, and I wanted to start off today by saying thank you to Andrea and Student Accessibility Services for nominating me. Thank you to Holly and Advising and giving me every opportunity. Thank you to Christine and Student Transitions for letting me be a peer mentor. There are so many more people to say thank you to, I just can't remember them all. I love being a Husky because every person you interact with is impactful in their own way. My classes, my teachers, my mentors, and my friends. And I'm so thankful for the non-traditional student organization. And I look forward to another year of making an amazing difference here on campus. Being a transfer student, I was scared to start at a new school in a new state. But during homecoming last year, I walk up to Dr. Wacker and thank her for being our president. She's my role model because she knows the importance of higher education for marginalized students and is not afraid to be a leader. That day when I walked up to her, she showed me that I was more than a number, but reminded me of the value I have as a scholar and as a leader. Thank you. Cabal Yang has been involved with several committees of the Hmong Student Organization and has served as historian of Asian Students in Action. She has also served on the Family Planning Committee of the Union of Vietnamese Student Associations Midwest and organized professional and culturally responsive regional conferences for university students for Midwest Asian American student unions. Her campus and community involvement has allowed her to strengthen her interpersonal communication skills in preparation for her future career as a secondary educator. I would like to thank my family and friends, especially both of my parents who helped me move into my first dorm my freshman year and uh, will be helping me move out in a few weeks after my last year here. I would also like to thank my friends, especially the ones that I'm living with now who really have been my rock through everything and especially now um, in self-isolation. I would also like to thank my faculty and um, professors at St. Cloud State University, as well as my cooperating teachers during all of my um, practicums and student teaching um, right now. I would not be where I am now if it were not for all of the faculty who are willing to support me um, academically, but, but also especially outside of the classroom, specifically Sharon Cogdill, Judith Dorn, and Michael Dando. I also like to thank the Education Abroad faculty members for helping me uh, get my internship in China, helping me study abroad twice, and uh, for being awesome people to work with when I was working on campus. Thank you. For the past 23 years, we have closed the Excellence in Leadership Award celebration with a presentation of the Dennis M. Thayer Leadership Award. This scholarship is awarded annually to the Excellence in Leadership recipient who earns the overall highest score from our judges through the application process. Dennis served as the Director of Student Organizations at St. Cloud State at the time of his passing in an automobile accident in 1995. 
Dennis worked with our students as well as faculty and staff and was known for his investment in the development of people and leaders who want to make the world around them better. Dennis's vision lives on with his wife, Mary Beth, his parents, Richard and Dolores, and his two sons, Brandon and Grant. Dennis's sons, Brandon and Grant, have prepared a special video presentation of this year's Dennis M. Thayer Leadership Award. On behalf of the Thayer family, I would like to begin by thanking our virtual MC, Dr. Ringer, David McCandles, and the rest of his team within the Department of Campus Involvement, and all others involved to create this virtual banquet. Even though we're not able to celebrate in person, the Thayer family and I are extremely inspired to hear the impact each of you have had in the community and look forward to your continued leadership inspiring others through these challenging times. Jackie Robinson said, a life is not important except in the impact it has on others' lives. I would like to applaud each of you for your individual accomplishments. It is clear that you have each succeeded in impacting others' lives. My father had an impact on everyone during his brief life. He not only encouraged leadership among others, he lived it in his daily life, at home, work, and in the community. Well, my father is no longer with us, we have been fortunate to honor his legacy each spring here at St. Cloud State, this year marking the 24th year, concluding the Excellence in Leadership Award celebration. Without further ado, the winner of the 24th Dennis M. Thayer Leadership Award is Taylor Richards. Congratulations, Taylor. Hello, I'm David McCandless, Assistant Director of Campus Involvement and facilitator of the Excellence in Leadership process. I want to congratulate all of our recipients and recognize and thank a few people who have helped to make this video happen. Dr. Jeff Ringer, Professor of Communication Studies, is usually our Master of Ceremonies at the in-person banquet and graciously jumped in to help make sure that this was a, an experience that you all could be proud of, recording a number of videos and voiceovers for us to help make this video an outstanding in product. Gifar Khan, Graduate Assistant in the Department of Campus Involvement, uh, assembled the whole video, is, is really our, our producer on everything and, and wanted to make sure that we had a great seamless product that we could really feel proud and excited to share and that uh, all of our recipients felt like uh, lived up to the work that they've done to earn this award. Anita Benny, office manager in the Department of Campus Involvement, uh, does a lot of great behind the scenes work, making sure that all of our materials get here and, and also helping us with copy editing and proofreading and, and making sure that everything is a seamless product uh, that we're able to get out to our recipients. Uh, President Wacker and Katie Jo Altoff, our speakers who provided some really outstanding remarks that hopefully um, were as thought-provoking for all of you as they were for me and that um, you felt uh, really helped you to, to reflect on uh, the nature of the award and your accomplishments. This event is a highlight each spring at St. Cloud State and I'm always deeply impressed by the work that these exceptional students have done to make campus and the larger world around them better places to learn, to live, and to reach our potential as citizens. I'm always moved each year by the outstanding support systems behind so many of our winners. To all of the parents, grandparents, fin friends, family, advisors, and mentors, thank you. Uh, you've helped encourage and mold each of these out recipients into outstanding leaders and outstanding people who are prepared to make the, that same difference in the lives of others. To our recipients, the next few weeks uh, mark an ending of sorts for many of you, but also the beginning of something hopefully greater and more exciting. And as we've certainly learned in the last several weeks, uh, much more unpredictable. Uh, you're graduating into a world that uh, has a lot of uncertainty um, and where things are on hold as we all kind of work together to move past and, and work through this uh, these circumstances that uh, are changing and dictating our lives right now. Um, you're all our, our recipients, are all the leaders that the world needs to help solve this problem, to help solve the other big problems that we face and, and will continue to face over the coming decades. And um, your tr track record, your history of 
service and leadership and commitment to your community, uh, to your peers, um, give me a lot of confidence that uh, this responsibility of going out into the world and trying to help solve problems and, and make life better for people is, is one that um, you're all ready to take on. Congratulations on all of your outstanding accomplishments during your time at St. Cloud State University. Best wishes to you as you move on to these next phases of your life and um, best wishes to all of you on a safe and healthy rest of 2020 as we uh, come together and work to move past this. And um, I have a lot of confidence in no small part because of uh, my experience working with these recipients that better times are on the way.